Hi, Phil Aston here from Now Spinning Magazine with another album review. Um, I thought I'd come outside for this one as the weather's been so good. And on this video, I'm looking at Frigid Pink. Now, I think everyone knows what you should do. The House of the Rising Sun by Frigid Pink on DRAM Records 1970. It was a massive hit. It was like a heavy metal version of the animals, House of the Rising Sun. It was really, really good. Um, they actually made two albums. For years, I only thought they made one. And I bought this one on the repertoire label. Um, when did this come out? It came out about, uh, I can't remember, it was a few years ago. The album itself came out in 1970. And this is good, but I have to say, I didn't really play it that much. Um, on the single, I think there was Driving Blueses on the B-side. It sounds of its time. It really, really does. Um, you know, by 1970, of course, we had the big major rock bands emerging from the UK and elsewhere. And this sounded like it was from the 60s, great as the single was. However, I'm retiring that because of this. This is the new esoteric release, which brings together the first two albums in a great fold out little digipack. In fact, I'll show you what's inside that right now. That's Frigid Pink, the DRM recordings from 1970 to 1971. It folds out into a three panel set. Um, the booklet is quite small, um, gives you the details of the tracks and the bonus tracks, etc., with an essay that rolls through uh, the next few pages, a um, picture of the second album, which is harder to find, and um, the essays from Steve Pimpleton in April 2023. And the it's been digitally mastered by Pascal Byrne at the Audio Car Archiving Company in the Hearts. He does a really good job, and it covers the period from 1970 to 1971. So that's a, a quick look inside. And so what are my thoughts? I thought this was fantastic. The first album, um, you get the B-sides of the singles, but where it really takes off for me is the second album, Defrosted had to be called that, didn't it, call Frigid Pink. And this is because the vocals, the vo it's the same guy. I think they've just matured. And the, the vocal sound is really gritty, really bluesy. The, the, the music itself is harder, it's heavier. And if I had to bring in a reference point, I'd have to say there's a, there's a connection here with the band Cactus. Not as wild and as raw as Cactus, but not that far off either. Um, just a few steps further back down the road, really. But yeah, if you're into Cactus, 70s rock, 70s blues rock, with really gritty vocals, then the second album by Frigid Pink ticks all those boxes. Um, there's a track called Slooney, which is an instrumental, if I remember rightly, and it's really full on, great guitar playing. The band had really matured. In fact, one of the things that kind of springs to mind when you listen to this is, why didn't they make it? When I heard the first one, and I thought, well, they were like one hit wonders, I could kind of see why they got swept away with what was coming along down the path. But the second album, it's not so clear. Anyway, the story is in, is in the Digipack. It's a great set. It's out now in Esoteric, which is part of Cherry Red. Highly recommended. So thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. And remember, music is the healer and the doctor. Stay safe. Keep spinning those discs. And I shall see you on my next video.